good old genders. So, well, every time you learn a foreign language, except for some reason English, <laughs> there are genders. The most exciting thing about German is that there are three different genders. Now, these three genders in German are männlich, weiblich, sächlich. You guessed it. Masculine, feminine, neuter. Now, I've gone ahead and color coded this because when I learn German nouns, I like to color code. It helps me remember is the German noun masculine, feminine, or neuter? So these are the colors I tend to use. Now, when you learn a German noun, you learn its gender. Therefore, every German noun has a gender. The other fun fact about German nouns is that they are always capitalized. I don't care if it's a common noun, like cat or dog, or a proper noun, like Herr Smith or Doctor Who. <laughs> they are still capitalized. So that's some other fun facts. And finally, when you learn the new word, treat the article the der die das as a mandatory part of that word. Don't just learn it as Buch, learn it as das Buch. I promise you now this will make all the world of difference later on in your German grammar careers. Now, when it comes to people, Leute, männlich, weiblich are pretty easy with German. Sechlich, not so much. So you have examples here such as der Onkel is nett. The uncle is nice, right? An uncle is a man, so therefore as a sex, it makes sense that it's a masculine noun. Die Schwester is klein. The sister is female by sex, therefore feminine by noun. Then you get some crazy wonky things in German, like das Mädchen. Das Mädchen means girl. No, that does not mean that a girl is neuter, like in a sex sense, but it means that she is neuter in the case sense in terms of her gender. The reason why German Mädchen is neuter has to do with this ending. There's some fun tricks we're going to look at in just a second, but one of them is this Schen. Anything that's Schen or Lein, like Fräulein, that makes it like a little, like, oh, it's a little girl or a little little lady. It makes it diminutive, and that's why Das is part of it. it has nothing to do with the fact that girl is not feminine. Now, it also happens when we talk about things. In English, we just say like the star, the duck, the computer, the desk, the chair, the keys, the glue, the phone, the Kleenex, or whatever. But in German, all of those does have to be der, dir, das. So here we have a thing, der Hund is groß. The dog is big. Even if it's a girl dog, it's masculine. Die Katze is groß. The cat is big. Even if it's a female cat, or sorry, even if it's a male cat, the cat is feminine. And then we have something like das Pferd. Das Pferd is groß. The horse is big. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl horse. In German, horse is neuter. So here are some crazy hints. Um, this comes from... I want to give credit where credit is due. Yes, the German Embassy of London. You can find this online. It's really good. Um, there's lots of different hint charts. Um, but let's just dissect some of the fun hints of there. Oh, der, der, sorry. So, of course, we have uh, men, right? So, masculine people. All days, months, and seasons in German. Um, most weather elements, not all, tend to be masculine. Non-German rivers, so der Mississippi, notice there's an exception already, the Thames, uh, uh, die Themse in London is, is feminine. Nouns that end in ich, ling, ant, us, most ones that end in en are all feminine. 
der König, der Liebling, der Elefant, der Bierfuß, der Garde. Now, what about feminine? So, of course, if it is female in sex, then typically it's a mention, uh, feminine. German rivers are the, once again, there's an exception, der Rhein, uh, flowers and fruits. And then all of these endings, lots of different endings that take the feminine. I, schaft, height, kite, ung, tate, schon, uh, ion, sorry, situation, ich, um, die Musik, uh, i, uh, um, this is a really a popular one, ung, planung, einladung, überraschung, um, and most that end in, in an e, so I say ends in an e, typically d, ends in an e, typically d, ends in an e, typically d. And then of course we end with zekri, so anything that's small or diminutive, das, not because it's shen, we'll get to that down here, uh, metals, infinitives as nouns, we'll learn this later, like the verb kaufen is to buy, but das kaufen means buying, sort of like a gen, uh, I guess a gerin. Uh, so here's the one I said before, Mädchen is diminutive, it's little, it's small, so Chen and Lein, Kin Lein, oh, little kind, or um, uh, Liebchen, oh, my little love, or um, I can't think of anything else, oh yeah, Fräulein, um, little lady. Nouns that end in Ment or Um, das Experiment, das Museum. So your job is to write all of these down and then figure out, is it der, the, or das? You can do that a couple different ways. One, you can guess and or use the hint from the previous slide. Two, you can use a textbook. Magic, use a glossary. Or third, you can use my favorite German website for looking up German words and that is cicp.leo.org. So the first one on that list was Dürol. Now, one thing I already can tell you is most ones that end in O are Das, but you can do this to double check. Boom, Das Dürol. So that's something you can use is check out my favorite website. All right, go ahead and look these things up.